What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Liquid Crystal walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we defeated Morty for our fourth badge right here, and, uh, well, we're gonna be going west to Sinewood City, because I think there's a little bit more going on there than what would be happening over in, uh, what was it, in Ecr no, not Ecrotech, but Mahogany Town, right? Yes. So, off screen, I did capture a Magnemite, and I did evolve him into a pretty cool Magneto right here, or Magneton, and, uh, well, we're just gonna be battling everybody right here. She's saying that I'm a cute trainer. Yes, she will see my Pokemon, because she thinks I am cute. Alrighty, so here we go, going up against a beauty, beauty, and her name is Val, and she will be coming out with, uh, her hip-hop, hip-hop, hop hip hop hip and, uh, yeah, I, okay, maybe I do have the move for it. Sonic Boom and everything. Now, again, a lot of these Pokemon that I have will not be, uh, well, will not be permanent and all that stuff. I will be switching up and all that stuff. That way I can, uh... Crud. That way I can, uh, you know, better beat this game or whatever. However I like to word it and all that stuff. So, yeah, as you can see, I'm kind of struggling just a little bit. And I'm just going to stay right here with the skip loom. This guy's, you know, leech lifing me. Alrighty. God dang it. Yeah, you see, you got to love grass-type Pokemon. Their Pokemon and all that stuff. See, look, they already took a lot of my HP right there. Holy crap. Okay, so... Let's see. One is paralyzed, and the other one is damaged. So let's go ahead and heal these Pokemon up. Right here, speed button, and uh, let's go with that. Where's that paralysis heal? Do it? Okay, wait. Here's a full heal. And uh, let's see if we have better help. Or help. Or whatever, I don't even know. So here we have a tree, and we got two orange berries. Alrighty. Orange berries for the for the win right there. And uh, let's go ahead and battle this guy, see what he has. Let's see, fly high into the sky, my beloved bird Pokemon. So obviously he has bird type Pokemon. So let's go right ahead and just spark the way. Yes, let's just destroy everybody with sparks, sparks, sparks. Look at that. There we go. Alrighty. Of course, Magneto here actually is a Steel and Electric-type Pokemon, so that's a very good combo. Uh, don't really think it's going to evolve right here in, uh, into Mag... Mm, wait, Magnezone. No, this is Generation 3, so I don't think it would be possible right here. So let's go right ahead and uh, take on some more trainers. I already battled this guy off-screen. And, uh, well, let's go right ahead and switch it out to Toxic Batman right here. And... Uh, Let's go ahead, and she's like, you must be good at Pokemon, by giving me some advice. Here's some advice. Going to destroy you. Here we go. Coming with her Flaffy. I want to know where you got Flaffy. And of course, I'm going to be paralyzed and all that crud. Okay. Alrighty. Yeah, I got to switch out my Pokemon. Let's go with Bookis. And I picked incorrectly. I didn't even read that. See, the speed button doesn't let me read, in, uh, doesn't let me read correctly here. And, uh, yeah, battle so majestically and all that crud. Okay, so that right there is that. And uh, I should heal my Pokemon again, because Toxic Batman getting paralyzed like no other. Hopefully it will evolve. Actually, hold on. I kind of feel like I had something here that would actually help it evolve. Nope, didn't. Okay, so let's move on. This guy right here. Let me try something I learned today. All right. Sweet button! Okay, and uh, bite attack. Here we go. And I don't think this guy would actually phone call this or something. I have to say, test as many much Pokemon. Yes, these guys don't really phone like phone us at all. So let's go right ahead and battle some more Pokemon trainers. Let's do the speed button. Olivia coming out with her Corsola. I'm going with a bite. You're flinching. Hmm. There we go. Bubble beam. God dang it! They're making me work for it again. Wing attack. There we go. And that's how you do it right there. Alrighty. So, that's that. And, uh, well, let's see. I'm going to be going... Oh, wait. There it is, finally! So, it's finally hatching. And, uh, would you look at that? We got ourselves an Eli kit. Again! Wow! <laughs> oh, wow. This is like, a uh, Wow. Just my just the same luck, same luck as in Pokemon Crystal. I get myself an Eli kit, so I think you already got, you guys already know what I'm gonna call this guy right here. So let's go right ahead and uh, name him. Actually, hold on. 
actually... What the hell? Alright, kid. We're gonna call this guy Kid. Thunder. Okay, Thunder. There we go. Kid Thunder, welcome back to the team. Let's go ahead and take a look at this Pokemon right here. Maybe I could switch him. Uh, switch this Pokemon out. Let's see. Docile Nature, Electric type Pokemon. It has static as it's, uh, it paralyzes people by contact. And it is a very, very speedy Pokemon right here. And yeah, it doesn't really have good moves right now. But if we train him up, then hopefully, maybe just hopefully, it will be a better Pokemon. Now, I could use this guy as a team member, but I kind of feel like I need to switch it up because this is got like to me this is kind of like reverting back to the old team. Uh, Toxic Batman, uh, Toxic Batman and Kid Thunder were, were once in my Pokemon Crystal team, so it's kind of that's how it kind of feels like it. So uh, let's see, we are in Route 39, okay. And uh, let me see what your Pokemon are capable of. They are capable of a lot of things, buddy. Lots and lots of things. So here we go, going up against the Psychic. His name is Norman. He's about to get his butt kicked by Speed Button right here. Because here's a Bite Attack. Bite Attack Attack. Bite Attack. There we go. Kick Thunder, kick butts. Or no, Toxic Batman. There we go. Critical hit. And there we go. Toxic Batman for the win. Okay, so figure that nobody's going to be calling us. So let's just go ahead and grab these two Chesto Berries. And uh, let's be on our way right here. Let's see. I'm assuming they're having a problem with their milk tank right here, right? Yeah, ain't giving no more milk. Lots of berries, I reckon. Okay. So, oh, okay. So he's probably it's not giving milk at all. I wonder how many berries I have. Let's see, hold on. Let's see, berry pouch and uh, orange berries. We have eight of them. So I'm assuming that it can actually... It'll take maybe four? I don't know. Uh, we give it an Oran Berry, yes. Okay, so let's see how many we can fit into this Pokemon. Go. Oh crap, it took all eight of it. Hold on. Did it take all eight? No. Did it get better? Hold on. Feeding move. Okay, so it got better with seven. So by doing that, let's see, what does it do? Okay, how would you like my moo milk? Okay, so after restoring it for seven, uh, you actually need seven orange berries, guys, to, to actually restore this Pokemon's health. And then, uh, okay, so yeah, they're going to be giving you some moves and whatnot. She gives you the TM-13, that right there is Snore, and uh, okay. So we're advancing right here. We just saved a Moo Moo, a Moo Moo's uh, life, and uh, is there an item right here? I could be, I could be mistaken. Let's see what this item, this item finder can do. Yeah. Okay, so it's something right here. Where are you, you? Huh. Okay, so let's see. Let's go use it again. Right here. Huh. There could be something here. Something's right here. Hold on. Item finder. Right there. Or it could just be toying with us. Hold on. Okay. Okay, so let's see. Okay, this is annoying. Screw it! Screw it! Not gonna do it. Alright, so let's move on right here and continue our episode with uh, more battles featuring Toxic Batman and Kid Thunder and Magneto, the Magneton. And uh, here we go. Such darling Pokemon, yes. You will be coming out with Pikachus. So here we go with Sonic Booms. Sonic Booms. Sonic Booms all the way. There we go, we defeated Ruth. Okay, so I see a, I see an item right there. Forgot to get that. So let's go right ahead and grab it. And uh, where would you be able to go through? Crud! Need a Pokemon with a cut. Never mind. Okay, so let's go right ahead and use our bike right here. And, uh... Oh, God. This game... This game right here, it just, like, it comes out with everything. So let's see... Let's go ahead and battle this guy, and he's like, it's a good time to break about my Pikachu. 
Alrighty, so let's go with Sonic Boom Galore. Will it miss? Can it miss? There we go, and uh... God dang. Why must you only hit with 20 HP? There we go, defeated that Pikachu. And uh, Derek is no more. That's right, you don't, you can't show off your Pikachu right here, so... Let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon, and uh... Shroom Lee, it looks like the type of Pokemon that could uh, handle this job right here. So let's see what this guy has to say. And he's like, I just got back from Olivine, so what about your, what about a Pokemon battle? Okay, let's go with the Pokemon battle. So here we go, Sailor Eugene, pick the right Pokemon. Let's go, Mega Drains, Crud. Come on, wake up. This is why I'm using the speed button, guys. That way I don't have to waste any more time. There we go, there we go, come on. Mega Drain for the win, there you go. And I'm gonna st stay with my Pokemon right here with the Mock Punch, look at that. Stay with the Pokemon, that's right. Mega Punch, Mega Drain, Mega Punch, or actually, it's Comet Punch, wow, I can't even recrawl correctly. <laughs> Alrighty, here we have another person wanting to challenge us. Let's see what you got. Crud! Okay, so this is a, uh, this is a, uh, a cool trainer, so he's gonna be difficult to battle if we don't battle him correctly, like we did in the first time we battled him. So let's go with the Swellow, and, uh, okay, so, and, uh, well, we gotta switch out our Pokemon right here, because he has a Swellow, and, uh, Spark Attack. This guy has a freaking, uh, Fly. So let's go straight to, let's see the source right here. Alrighty, Mega Drain. There we go, and level 31, and he's going to be coming out with an Umbreon. Okay, so he's got some pretty interesting Pokemon right here. God dang. Alrighty, so look at that. Yes, I do have some great Pokemon. Okay, so that was that, and so once you get to Olivine City... Gear, that's cool. And, uh, oh, there's our rival. You again? There's no need to panic. I don't bother with wimps like uh, you. Speaking of weaklings, the city's gym leader isn't here, supposedly taking care of a sick Pokemon at the lighthouse. <laughs> Boo hoo. Just let the Pokemon go. A Pokemon that can't battle is worthless. Why can't you train, uh, why, why won't you go train at the lighthouse? Who knows? It'll make you less weak. Wow. It seems like this guy wants to help us out. He probably does want to help us out. I don't even know. Okay, so here we are in Olivine City, guys. Uh, let's see. First thing is first. Let's go ahead and check out a few things before we check out right here. Let's see. Pokemon can deal by teaching a new move. So, should I teach Overheat to one of your Pokemon? Let's see. Who? Let's go with uh, Buckus right here. You can learn Overheat. As a better fire type move, um, we're just gonna have to eliminate Bite for just the, for the time being. Eventually, we're gonna find uh, what was it? A Pokemon move deleter or something like that? I don't even know. Yeah, and let's see how your Pokemon look like lightweights. They don't have the power to move boulders aside. And this guy will give us the HMO4 strength. That's always nice. And uh, okay, so let's see. Whenever roll into town, cafe makes you okay. Alrighty. So that was a beneficial place, uh, be a beneficial visit, and uh, let's see, Battle Tower is ahead, it's opening now, I believe these are trainers, so I'm not going to do that right now, so let's see, uh, oh wow, our rival's right there, I'm not going to mess with that, so what I'm going to do right now is just going to be taking a small tour of Olivine, and then in the next episode, yeah, I will, uh, yeah, I will try and do my best to finish the whole thing for episode 20. And, uh, well, let's see. This is pretty much the same deal right here. Whenever I get into trouble, Daddy scares me. And this guy says that alongside with there are four deserted islands. Oh, okay. Yeah, so... Kind of like a, a wishcraft right there. And uh, what does this house do? I wonder what this house does. Let's see, Olivine is on the sea. If you... They're bound to fish. Fished over 30 years. Would you like to see the fish? Yes, I do. Here he gives us a good rod, which you'll be able to find some better water type Pokemon, which you probably don't need. It just, you know, it's it's nice to have. So we're gonna stop right here, guys, in the next episode. We're gonna be going into the lighthouse. And uh well, 
Let's see, is there anybody here that, you know, is truly close? Okay, yeah, so in the next episode, we will be going into the lighthouse and seeing what's going on up there, because apparently there's some sick Pokemon and whatnot. So, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys.